Welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon, and I'm your girl, Milan Garcon. I am not sad, you all. <laughs> I am. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm a little sad. Do I think it'll last long? No. All in all, today, I can't tell you what show I just did a fitting for because it's a very popular show. Do I watch it? No. Do other people like my grandparents watch it and like anybody that watches like regular nighttime television? You definitely watch this and you know who's in it. Um, but I'm going to be in a scene that shows like a ball or whatever. So I am going to be one of the ball walkers. Shout out to everybody in my circle. Shout out to, you know, everyone out here keeping me in mind for opportunities. I love that. I thank you. I'm very grateful and very appreciative. But baby, a bitch works at 3 a.m. And long story short, I got a message last week, last Friday, telling me that my fitting time was going to be today at 12 p.m never had that happen and we just wasted hormones we just waste a whole thing on hormones is gone because i don't know what about this syringe it oh my god oh my god don't cry don't cry don't cry don't cry don't cry oh my god today has just been so fucking much want to go to a really a really long day and I'm just tired <laughs> and I just feel like I don't have anybody to just lean on the way that I want just because <sighs> nobody gives me what the fuck I give them and then I'd be so goddamn drained I'm tired of apologizing I'm tired of being there I'm I'm just tired I'm tired of being everyone else's fucking inspiration and motivation I'm sick of it because when my shit hits the fucking fan it's nobody ever 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 there ever like never Like, if I'm being real and being honest, the way I have always shown up for my friends, for my family, best friends, my mother, like, none, none of them can I say at this point in my life, at this day and age, have any time, room, or capacity to actually be there for me because everybody's dealing with their own shit, and I fucking get that. But damn, like, what the fuck? <sighs> I'm going to try this again because I don't have another, I don't have any other choice. Hopefully, the syringe just wouldn't move and I'm just pressing it trying to get it to move. Some weeks I don't want to do this. Talk about. 
about. I don't have anything to say. I just want to go to bed. And I really appreciate everybody for watching my videos. But y'all, can y'all please not tell me, oh, you should have done this. You should have done that. Like, just, I don't know. But that was a whole point five of estrogen. Thankfully, my prescription gives me extra. So I have a lot of extras, even though it technically doesn't last you that long. And my doctors are very understanding. And if I tell them something happened, they won't, like, be funny about it. They'll just, like, make sure I have what I need. But on a day like today, like, I'm already drained. And, like, I feel like a lot of people, they they see, they, they know my schedule. Like, friends and family, they know my schedule. But, like, I I don't get eight hours of sleep. And on the weekends, unless I've gone out and I have like a hangover, I don't sleep that long. I can't. My body, I, I, every night for like the past probably like two months, I have had nightmares of missing my alarm, of losing my job, even though my job isn't even like that. But like just walking in and them saying, we don't need you today. Just all this crazy shit because my schedule is insane and my body is tired. I'm so tired all the time. And that's the thing. I was just going to update you guys and say that my blood work came back perfect. And I'm healthier. My hormones are exactly where my doctors want them to be. Everything is great. But deep down inside, I'm tired. I feel like I'm chasing myself. I just, I just... I'm fucking tired, y'all. I'm fucking tired. But, welcome to my trans life. <laughs> and as adults, we don't get to just take days off. And when you do, be grateful that you have that option. Be grateful that you don't have a boss that makes you feel like if you get sick or if you have sick days or vacation days that you should never take them. Um, you know, because everybody doesn't have that. Some people don't feel like they have job security. So you feel like when your shit hits the fan, there's no one to turn to. There's no one to say, take a day. There's none of that. None of it. So, I say all of this to say, sometimes you just gotta cry and move on. And that's what we just did. We cried a little bit and now, now we're moving on because Ain't nobody going to do it for me. Nobody's going to do it for me. So let's do it together. I got to make sure that...
Okay, I'm just gonna focus and do this. Because I refuse to waste any more moans and I do not want to hurt myself. So, give me a few seconds. Well, that was a first. I've never cried while doing a hormone shot. Not even my first one to celebrate. But, um, yeah, I almost fell apart a thousand times today after, yeah, wow. I didn't even realize that this shirt is probably ruined because the estrogen oil is like oil-based or whatever. So that's not gonna come out, but I don't give a fuck about these shirts. So I'm not even gonna act like I care. Just gonna wipe this off again. Um, I'll just keep an eye on this bottle of Moans because, yeah, I may need an extra vial sooner than later. But that's the beautiful thing about my um, fucking airplanes. Like, yo, I don't need to be awake right now. Like, it's extremely too much stuff happening and I've been awake for, for too long and I've already done too much, including cry on fucking camera. So you know what? I'm not gonna shut up for 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 any of the sounds in the background. I live in New York City. If y'all care about it, get the fuck over it. I don't normally talk to y'all like this, but I ain't got it in me today. I just don't. So um, with all of that being said, it's been a long day. It didn't. It did not start off like this at all. Um, I think that I already have a lot going on. So whenever I'm tired, it just makes me. It just makes it easier for me to just like get trapped in the emotions, I think, very quickly. Um, the cry felt good. Did it fix anything? No. But did it feel good to just kind of have a moment? Yeah. But with that, I'm going to eat some food. I got some rasta pasta and jerk chicken over there. I'm going to eat some food and I'm going to try not to cry about it anymore. And hopefully I can get me, you know, another good good night's rest. I just can't believe that like this is all estrogen. Like if I keep looking at it, I'm gonna start crying again. So, um, with all of that being said, ladies out there, because I cannot speak for trans men and their experience, I know that um from basically talking to, and not talking like dating, but one of my friends was involved with a trans man for a while. And I remember one day we were all like on FaceTime, like just joking about like our hormones. Cause my sister, I gave her some moans and we were just talking about like going out and like, oh my God, girl, you're gonna be tired when we get back tomorrow. Like in the morning when we get back, cause baby, the moans gonna hit you. You're gonna be all, so he was just like, wait, so y'all got to do that every week? And I'm like, yeah, and we take pills every day. Like, what are you talking about? And he was like, yo, I take my shot like three times, like like every three weeks. Like, and it's just a shot, it's no pill. Like, we were just gagging for a second. Like, what do you mean all you do is take a shot? First of all, second of all, what do you mean every three weeks? crazy so um i can't speak to their experience i'm not saying that that's every trans man's um trans cocktail <laughs> that's what we call them cocktails um anybody that takes like you've got to take a lot of pills for whatever reason you normally call it like a cocktail because a mixed drink is a cocktail like it's multiple things mixed in and it's one thing that's kind of the same idea when it comes to like your hormone replacement therapy and what it what it entails for you your specific cocktail um, but yeah, it's just, it's been a long day. Oh, so I was saying, I had to go to a fitting after work. And because I got a message last week saying that my fitting was going to be at 12 p.m. I got another message this morning, which said that the fitting was confirmed, but the call time is TBD. If you work in the industry a lot, you're used to like not being able to contact people. You're used to wait, like rushing to wait. You're used to not getting your call times until the night before, sometimes hours before, most of the time the morning of. And today when I got a message around 10 a.m. and it said, um, 
TBD for the fitting. I'm like, oh shit, well, I wonder what time it's gonna be because I thought it was gonna be at 12. Come to find out it was always at 12 when I got on the train to go home and wait. And if it got later, I was gonna let the lady know like, hey, I never got like an official call time or whatever. Mind you, in the initial message, I went back and looked and she said, I think. So it was not confirmed, but either way, um, I basically took a train all the way home and then literally by the time I got off, they were like, where are you, Milan? I'm like, I sent them a screenshot. They were like, oh, that's weird that you got that message. Um, Cause what I'm doing, I'm like not in the, I'm not a part of the background, but I'm technically like not like, a, I guess I'm just a feature. So in this situation, like, I'm in, I'm in two different situations. So like, I'm gonna get all of the general background emails and texts because I'm not a primary character. But my stuff is a little different, so yeah. But either way, I basically got right off the train at my stop, at my regular time to get home. And I had to literally wait 10 minutes and get right back on the next train to go right back where the fuck I came from. So that was annoying, but while I was doing that, I was talking to my mom about like some stuff that like we're dealing with right now. You know, everything is okay. My mom is doing great. I know y'all always ask about her, but she has a lot of amazing things um, changing in her life right now and I'm so happy for her and I want the best for her I want her to live it up be selfish enjoy life um, I've been wanting her to move from Cleveland because Cleveland is not the safest place especially when like a few years after I moved from home a barbershop got like literally shot the, it was a massacre in the barbershop right around the corner from my house like literally like right around the corner from my house like not oh black people right around the corner but i'm still 10 minutes away no honey like walking distance right around the corner and it's just getting worse and worse so i've been wanting her out of of that place she always has wanted to live in a warmer climate so i'm very excited for what she has in store but i'm we're in very two different places right now and because it is something that is changing her life in such an amazing way it does involve me but um, I don't feel involved and that's a little difficult and I've been working really hard not to put that, um, those feelings and, and, and baggage on her, but I also can't not communicate with my mother. And when I communicate with her, if I'm feeling that type of way, I'm not, we, we communicate like best friends. Some of the estrogen went in my mouth, I'm not mad at it. But it's just a little gaggy, like, I mean, if I could put it inside of my arm, more than positive it's fine on my tongue but hmm, it's different but um yeah it's just like a lot going on in my head right now I don't really want to go that deep into it nothing's wrong like I said um it's just really it's just really difficult when it's like I feel like I can't lean on her because she's got a lot going on like I said a lot is changing and as, I, as you get older, as I approach 30, I just don't feel like it's everyone's job to make sure you're okay. I don't feel like um, it's okay to, you know, take someone else out of their happiness, especially with it being my mom. And just, I just want her to, I just want her to be so happy. So I just feel like this is, this is one of the, this is one of the moments where you really found out what you made of Milan and you just you go with the flow of the situation and don't overthink because if i overthink this situation and not feeling involved in her life in certain ways or like i'm still like her everything which i want my mom to no one person could be your everything at all but you know like i just feel like me and my mom are in two different spaces like I'm not unhappy but I'm not like my normal happy go lucky self like I'm 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 processing a lot of things and I'm and I'm really I'm really going through a huge freaking growth phase and I ain't talking about these but just like internally and like mentally and spiritually I'm going and physically like let's not ignore that but also let's not focus on that I'm going through a huge mentally taxing era of my life where I am going to come out so much stronger, so much more beautiful, so much more resilient, also more vulnerable. 
um, stronger, softer, you know, all, like all of those things. And I'm kind of letting it happen as it happens because that's just the way. Sometimes you just gotta go up the fucking flow. But um, I'm loving the growth. I'm loving the things that I'm realizing, but it ain't easy. So that is, that's what I'm like trucking through right now. So I don't, and I can't put everything on her because I don't want her to figure it out. Like I don't want her to try to problem solve. Like, th like this is my life to figure the fuck out. So yeah, that's all I got today. It, um, I literally thought that this was going to be like a five minute um, little doohickey here. But uh, like always, my life is like a fucking movie. And I can officially say that I've cried on the internet because that is not something that I do. But also, I think any, any trans girl out there that is watching this probably cried with me. And for that, we thank you. <laughs> it's been real and it's been fun. It was not real fun, but I'll keep it. I'll, I'll keep it in the branding. It's been real and it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. I'm gonna have to catch you on my next one. Mwah. No moans. Ah! <laughs>